A very good day to you people. My name is uh, still Mohit. I mean my name is Mohit and today I'm going to show you how to use ActionScript 3 to uh, place text on the stage only with ActionScript 3. I'll also teach you how to format only through ActionScript 3. Right, let's begin. Cool. Uh, so guys you can notice that the stage size is 550 by 400 let me change the color to a pound sign uh, 333333 all right and let me hop inside my action spiral and start coding coding time all right how many of you actually load um, coding guys the action script coding i used to too uh, around three years back but not anymore anyways so I'm gonna create a variable my text alright and uh, data type it to text field alright space equals space new text field basically guys I need a new text field to place my text into I need a container where I can actually place my text so that's a new text field instantiating a new text field cool then guys I need to put some text inside the text field but before that let me pass in a few parameters something like uh, my text irritating my text dot width okay uh, let it be equal to a 500 my text dot auto size rather mm -hmm. word wrap I was looking for word wrap and make it equal to true so that just in case you know the the length overshoots the limit of 500 uh, pixels it'll then wrap to the next line All right now I think <coughs> I should move ahead to the next step which is I'm gonna create some text for my text fields I'm gonna say my text dot text using the text property guys and uh, make it equal to mm, Uh, I have a, a name for my new website it's just uh, I'm just contemplating it it might well be the name of my uh, website that may go up in a day or two it may well be I'm not so sure and that'll be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash it could be any text guys quality training dot net all right that's it cool and uh, then guys I need to say add child I need to place this text guys see if I hit control enter on my keyboard now although it doesn't uh, give me an uh, give me an uh, error okay but still doesn't place the text uh, on to the stage because you need to do that through the add child method which will place the text on the display list at index 0 guys so that'll be add child and uh, my text right that's the name of the text field guys control enter right guys uh, you probably can can see that it's actually tucked in the corner now it's tucked in the corner right but guys it does not have a proper size it does not have a proper font color since the background is very dark I would want my text to be bright okay moreover I would want my font to be a different font and a different color and how do I achieve that I achieve that through formatting and how do I apply the formatting a uh, hundred uh, you know uh, a very big question so let's solve that big question I need to create yet another variable as variable text formatting text format of the type text format right so variable text format of the type text format which will be holding the formatting is equal to new text format right so basically creating an instance of a variable text format which will be holding all the formatting the moment I put the first parent the left parent guys the opening parent I get a tooltip which helps me a lot which says that you need to enter the font name then you need to enter the font size then you need to enter the font color and then uh, tell us whether you want it bold italic underline etc etc 
so let me say that I want the font to be a Ravi okay it's one of the fonts guys then I would want on the size to be a 24 then I would want the color to be uh, a 0x and then the hex code guys so that's FF uh, 0 0 0 0 that's the color red all right and then I would want it bold so I'll say true then I would want it italic I'll say true all right <sighs> or rather I don't want it bold italic or underline so let me just get rid of it and close the bracket up straight away all right next guys uh, let me say text format okay copy and a paste out here dot uh, let's say I would want left margin to be equal to let's say 25 all right I'm I'm actually uh, you know imparting a lot of uh, text formatting guys to the text format variable hmm right so I have the font I have the font size I have the font color and I have the left margin and that should be it that should be it right cool so next guys let's see how I can actually uh, set the formatting on my text field all right which is called my text so copy and paste out here dot set text format right the tooltips uh, tooltip says then uh, that you need to then give it a name of uh, the variable that's holding the formatting which is text format right let me do a copy and a paste out here all right and that should be it guys so let me test wonderful so uh, that's uh, my proposed uh, website name HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality training dot net right so I hope I get this domain name and it should be up in a day or two but the only thing is guys I would want the color I'm not happy with the color red let me just change the color to a FF 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 that's color white right let me test it now cool uh, all right so guys uh, this is one of the simplest ways of adding text changing the text font changing the text color changing the text size applying left margin so basically this is how you actually format and add text through action script 3 i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial guys you have a very good day bye bye peace see you soon